smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, hit that like button, like, like, like button, okay? Let's get right into it. So, the testimony has come out now. Uh, Takashi took the stand today, and he testified a whole bunch of things. I'm going to read some of that stuff. Uh, first, little Dirk reacted to all and said, F, uh, Rat9, okay? So, then some fan got in the comments and dragged little Dirk. <laughs> And Dirk responded, uh, someone said, but you was in uh, the same dude live on chat chatting with him when he said F300. And then uh, Dirk said, weirdo, weirdos for sure. I don't know. Little Dirk. I don't know. <laughs> let's not even get into that. So then we let's read, the, uh, read through this uh, testimony. So it starts out, first of all, big thing he did is he told that trippy red was in a uh, gang too which is a little whew. yeah why is that being brought into it so he said uh this is how it starts your honor the government calls daniel hernandez uh, he's in prison blues okay so he's he's dressed all in prison blues and uh he swore him in then it says question uh, mr hernandez were you uh where were you born he said bushwick brooklyn how far did you go in school 10th grade uh when did you start living in federal custody when did you start cooperating the next day the day after we were taken down then it says question were you a, a member of a gang he said yes the nine Trey bloods he said what sort of things did nine trade do he said robberies assaults you know drugs then he says do you recognize anyone in the court he said uh Anthony Ellison has on a, a gray suit on. Mac has a brown suit on. He said, where did you go to school? He said, PS 59, Campos Middle School, Legacy High School. Did you work? He said, yes, I started working at 13. My first job was at Youth Corps for about two months. Didn't make a lot, so bus tables with my brother, then grocery store delivery, boy, two years. Then he said, I landed another busboy job. Then I became a rapper. Peter Rogers uh, come in, came into the store where I worked on September 2014 to buy tea and peanuts. Asked me if I rapped. I said, uh, you it said, you look cool. I made more like a rock and roll rap. Toured in Bras Brat Bratislava, Slovakia, Moscow. For all those shows, I made about 2,000 profit. I did it just for the experience. I changed in September 2017, filmed a music video in Bed-Stuy 370 Madison, uh, Government Exhibit 202. Um, and then he said, uh, it was called Gummo. I had signed 20, a 20% 20 management deal with Seiko Billy. Then he starts rapping in a hood. First used the N word. Then you said, Billy is nine Trey. So I asked him to provide gang members for the video. I met him in studio in Williamsburg six, nine. Then he also said, brought Hennessy and brought Hennessy. And at 370 Madison, I met shoddy. He said, we with you little homie. Also brought a bunch of red bandanas. Met Pablo is shown in the photo saying shoddy is Cafino Jordan. Then he said, Government played, uh, government played a song loud. Okay, so that's the Gummo song. Now they are uh, parsing the video, 69 pointing out the guns in it, linking one to Shoddy. Is that a real gun? He said, yes. Then he said, where is a drum? Uh, what is a drum? He said, you add it to the gun. It carries extra clip. A USA, quoting the lyrics using N-word as an uber n-word then six nine is saying n-word mr hernandez what is gummo about he said it's a diss song toward like somebody i didn't get along with trippy red was part of five nine brims he says did there come a time that gummo was released on the internet he said yes it went viral meaning people shared it I just put it up on YouTube and said, whatever happens, happens. Uh, hearsay, Shadi said, that little rainbow head knows what he's doing. Then they said, how did Kuda come about? He said, I knew, I knew I had a formula to repeat it. The gang 
what is the word for it? Image, I would say promote it. You know what I'm trying to say. That's what people like. So then he that's that's pretty, then he said before I changed my style uh, style of rap, I like this kid called Kuda. I thought he was talented. So I named the song after him. Kuda was filmed in Brooklyn, intersection of Fulton Avenue and Utica near Smurf Village. It is nine Trey members who live there. Then he also said, how did you come up with drafting those lyrics based on your time with nine Trey? Did you learn some of their lingo? He said, come again, lingo. Judge e uh, Eaglemeyer says the jurors want their mid-afternoon break, 15 minutes, vlog story coming. Then we're back. Takashi segment of the day, AUSA, AUSA asks, when did you become a member of Nine Trades? He said, November 2017. Were you initiated? He said, no. You had to sh uh, like 30, you had to shoot your 31. Okay, so story until now. Takashi, to be initiated, you had to work, like cutting someone's face or something like that, Mr. Handed, Mr. Hernandez. But you were not initiated, right? He said, right. I just had to keep making hits and giving financial support to the gang, equipping with guns and stuff like that. So he, he basically was just a money, money guy and he didn't have to like cut anybody or anything to get into the gang. So what did you get from nine Trey? He said, I would say my career credibility protection and all the above Trey way was something that we could market. Could you demonstrate the handshake? He said, I need two people, but uh, now, now he's shaking hands with himself, standing up so the jury can see. AUSA, who taught you that? I'm doing it with Shadi a lot. Uh, the nine with your index finger, the nine with your index finger and your thumb. Nuke taught me. Photo. I think I was just getting the hang of it. We show up at, the, uh, at a strip club in Brooklyn, Angels Strip Club. I don't want to be quoted. There is a court reporter. And then he says, I wasn't making the sign, right? He pulled me to the side. Yo, like if you're gonna, if you're gonna nine tray, you have to make the sign, right? Hernandez, did you ever see Mr. Ellison make the sign? He said, yes. Queuing up the, another video. Your honor, there's a little technical issue. Eagle Meyer, okay, very good. Just show the witness opening frame of exhibit 802. Pause the seven seconds on the B word. Mr. Hernandez, have, if you could identify the people in the photograph, he says, I don't know the guy in LA hat. And what is uh, Mel Matrix wearing? Oh, Mel Murder. Cincinnati Reds. He's the grandfather, I mean, godfather of the Nine Trey Bloods, AKA Mel Matrix. Uh, does Nine Trey have a leadership structure? He said, yes. There was a little street lineup and a prison lineup. How did the prison lineup work? He said, my understanding is that with the prison lineup, there was a higher up to get anything sanctioned on the street. Objection. <laughs> this is crazy. It's crazy that uh, we're getting this so fast. This is like a, this is like a creepy uh, thing. So then it continues. It says overruled. Now Takashi says he spoke to Frank White and Magoo. They could say who had ranking and who didn't. Uh, turning to the, the street lineup, there were ranks. He said, there was a godfather, twins, five-star general. He said, who occupied the positions? He said, Mel Matrix was the godfather, right under Shadi. Seiko Billy was five-star. Judge Engelmeyer said, I'm looking for a stopping point. He said, it will end at 4 p.m. in five minutes. Story soon after the lawyer's arg arguments, if any. And it says, Takashi Shadi told me, if you take care of the people behind the wall, they'll take care of you. Judge Engelmeyer says, lunch will be ordered in the jurors, in for the jurors tomorrow to save time. Uh, counsel, I'll see you tomorrow. It's done for the day. Last story on this coming. Okay, so he testified, he gave them up, and that's what's going on there. So, and, you know, little Dirk responded to it. I was going to talk about something else, but I don't want this video to be too long. So we'll just keep it on a uh, Takashi video. It's crazy that they involved uh, Trippy Red in this. It might be spooky for him, you know, because now they're going to be looking at him. So 
It's just a whole bunch of BS. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tao with JT News, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.